multiple reports came out over the last couple of days about Social Security and that it's going to run short of cash in 10 years. The fund had already been showing signs of weakness, but now it should run out a full year earlier. What does this mean for us retiring after 2034? And what about those of you who currently depend on Social Security to live? This video is going to discuss that, how you can actually compute how much money you should expect to get in retirement age from Social Security, and then four main takeaways for from this new information that will help you to be financially free no matter what actually happens. But first, let's quickly go over what Social Security is and how much you can expect to get right now. I'm Professor G and I made this channel to make investing simplified and one thing that's definitely not simple is this whole idea of Social Security. So here's a quick, simple version. The Social Security Retirement Benefit is a monthly check that replaces part of your income when you reduce your hours or stop working altogether. For all of us in the United States, we have that annoying piece in our paycheck that shows an amount of money that we made that actually has to go and pay into this social security thing, but we don't get the benefits of that social security right now. The idea is that the workers now are paying for and helping those who have already worked and are in retirement age. So we're helping them to be able to live and to be able to do their retirement thing with the idea that the next generation will then work and pay for us and help us in our retirement time. The big issue though is this whole report where it's saying that this might dry up in 10 years. And so if that's the case, those of us that are working right now, we're still having to pay into this, but we may not get that benefit. Now this piece also says, Social Security may not replace all of your income, so it's best to identify other ways to pay for your monthly expenses as you age. And we will definitely touch on that by the end of the video, so stick around for that. The average Social Security benefit is expected to be $1,827 per month in January of 2023. Social Security benefits are typically computed using average indexed monthly earnings. This average summarizes up to 35 years of a worker's indexed earnings. We apply a formula to this average to compute the primary insurance amount. So it's a somewhat complicated formula, but I promise I'm gonna show you how it gets easier and how you can even go look right now and see how much you're expected to earn no matter what amount that you're making right now. So they say that up to 35 years of earnings are needed to compute average indexed monthly earnings. After we determine the number of years, we choose those years with the highest indexed earnings some such indexed earnings and divide the total amount by the total number of months in those years. The result is the average indexed monthly earnings. So that's good that you know how they do it, but I found a much easier way where you can just plug in numbers and you don't have to worry about actually doing all the math. You can just use a free calculator that I found here on Google and a really good one is at bankrate.com. For example, if you're 50 years old and make $60,000 per year, the average raise increase is usually about 2% and I do believe that inflation will be higher than the old 2% average, so we'll just say 3%. Based off of this, at 62 years old, you can expect to get about $2,300 a month. If you wait till you're 65 years old, you can expect to get $2,800 a month. And if you wait all the way until 70 years old, you can expect to get $4,100 or so. So with Social Security, the longer that you wait, the more that you're able to get per month moving forward. And so when it gets closer to that time, you'll have to make that decision. And for some people, it's a good idea to wait a little bit longer because they like their job or their job isn't too stressful and they can do it. For some people, it's just a good idea to take it as soon as possible, especially if you have super low living expenses. But either way, that'll be an individual decision for each individual person. So let's talk about the recent news article. The Social Security program is expected to run short of cash to pay promised benefits in about 10 years, while a key trust fund for Medicare will run out of funds by 2031. Now, I've always told you on this channel to make sure that you dive deep. Don't just listen to headlines, don't just listen to even one or two people on what they're having to say about this, but actually do the research yourself. Looking at any of these headlines and any of these crazy things, they're saying very scary stuff, but when you actually read what's going to happen, it gets a little bit better. You'll see that if this does occur in the way that they're saying, the worst case scenario, social security benefits will still be able to pay out at 80%. So instead of you getting like $2,500 per month, you'd be getting $2,000 per month. What absolutely is not being said is that social security is gonna be depleted all the way to zero. Max Richman, president and CEO of the National Committee to Preserve Social Security and Medicare said, social security is not going bankrupt. The program will always be able to pay benefits 
benefits because of ongoing contributions from workers and employers. So it's frustrating the way media does this, but they definitely get our attention and they make us have this fear. So now what do we need to do with this specific information? And what does this mean for us? Here are four things that I want you to think about and that I want you to do. Number one is that I actually don't want you to do anything because of this type of report. These type of reports are going to happen. Don't ever do anything out of fear or out of just rash emotional decisions just because of a scary headline. Have a plan in mind like we talk about on this channel and stick to it. Number two, and specifically from this headline and understanding what's actually happening, is that you actually can't fully count on any external funding and you should do everything in your power to start preparing today. You need to take charge of your finances. The best way is actually the most simple way and that's just to consistently invest into good ETFs with low fees and just stay the course. Number three is a huge one and it really helps during all this scary volatility but that's going to be to get into a group of like-minded individuals that are looking to grow their financial health and get to that financial freedom and who can all help each other stay accountable. Our Patreon group has helped so many people and our bi-weekly live Zooms are amazing for this specifically. It's only $20 per month and it'll be the best $20 you've ever spent. Click the link in the description to check it out. Number four, and this is a big one, expect bad news. Our economy is going through the ringer, and like I talked about in a recent video, there's a perfect storm that's brewing this year in 2023 from the COVID stimulus, inflation, student debt, and overall credit card debt increasing at crazy rates. Your best bet is just to accept that there is going to be bad news and prepare for it. Now, in order to prepare the best way possible, I put together this video to have you save and invest in the most optimal steps in the most optimal areas so that you're poised to succeed during this tough time. Watch this video now and I'll see you in the Patreon group.